This is a quiet neighborhood, according to the people who live here. And this, the Last Call Bar and Grill, is a neighborhood bar where people come and catch up with friends. Last night, there were a group of people standing just in front of the door smoking a cigarette. One woman returned this morning, so emotional, she could barely speak. Oh, in this moment, it hit her. The horror she saw was real, and it happened six feet in front of her. Police say a lone gunman fired multiple rounds from a semi-automatic weapon. Nancy Wilson's son was there too. My son was standing right there when he shot him and he said he dropped to the ground and he tried to push the door to stop, you know, to, so he wouldn't get shot and he just kept going like. Police say the man shot five people then fled the scene in a silver Honda Ridgeline. That was around 2 a.m. on Saturday. Everybody who works here is fine, thank God. Um, but still, there was two guys that I know they were shot in the leg. Police aren't releasing much information about the victims, but Wilson says one man was shot in the head. He was an innocent bystander, a regular at last call named Jared. Prayers for, for Jared because we love him yeah. a lot. Yeah. We love him a lot. Yeah. Again, one man is in serious condition and police say four others are expected to fully recover. Meanwhile, they are still looking for that shooter. He left behind tire tracks. Police say he took off in a silver Honda Ridgeline. If you think you have any information, contact police. In East Point, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.